everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing you a highly requested video and that is another car tour. I have already done one of these which I'll link in the description box just in case you want to see it. I don't know why you would, but just in case you do, you guys loved that video so I thought I would do an updated one. I'm so gonna answer some FAQs that you guys asked me over on my Instagram at the end of the video so stay tuned for that if you're interested in a little bit more information about the background of my car, when I got it, when I passed my driving test and other driving little tidbits. Now let's talk about my car. It's a 2014 Fiat 500 and I'll leave all the information in the description box of the details of what exactly the car is but I'm gonna show you around it today and I couldn't be more excited. Here are my keys. I know when I was watching car tours I loved seeing what people have on their keys so I obviously just have the main key. You do get two keys with it so you get just a normal key and then you get this automatic key which has the lock and unlock button and this is everything I have on my keys. I don't have a lot just because I don't like to have really clunky keys because I've got quite small bags. This little key ring which is from Paper Chase and it says kindness is power. Um, we've got this little key ring here which is from Clarins advent calendar once got a little torch These are really good to have on your keys you never know when you might need a little torch It's also really good for when I'm walking back to my car late at night I've got some little card thobs. It's completely out of focus. We've got a salon place where I go and get my nails done uh, Waitrose and VIP pets. I just have my front door key there. So yeah, pretty small I don't like to have too much on them. Otherwise, it doesn't fit in my bags. Here is my car in all her glory She's a white Fiat 500 so cute I love how the windows are tinted. I've opened the windows because it's so hot today. Also has a sunroof at the top there. My car is a bit dirty, so apologies for that. But it looks like from the back and then from the side, and then from the front like that. Obviously, if you are worried about getting a Fiat 500 because you're like, oh my God, I don't want to be one of those Fiat 500 girls. I couldn't recommend a Fiat 500 more. I think they're such good little cars. They're so easy to drive they're really cheap on petrol to fill up my tank it cost me around 30 pounds which i think is really good a really lovely little car um so don't be put off by the whole fiat 500 name around it this is what it looks like on the interior i'm sitting in the car right now you've got this glorious sunroof which is so lovely in the summer um i normally have it shut just because it tries to cool down the seats obviously we've got black leather seats in here which i really really love because a lot of fiat's have the fabric seats but i love how they're leather it means they're easy to clean and i just think it looks really nice two seats the driver's seat the passenger seat and then at the back you've got two small seats at the back you can move those headrests up but i like to keep them down because i don't really have anyone in my back seat and it's easier to see here's the steering wheel i love how it's cream and not black it still gets hot though i'm not gonna lie and this bit in the car in all fiat's is the same color as the outside so if you have a red fiat this will be red if you have a green it'll be green whatever so i really like that i have a white car because it means the inside is very bright bright and airy and i love how the windows makes it feel like quite a big spacious car when it's quite small or you've got the handle here cute little silver thing you've got your controls to control your wing mirrors and you have a little pocket which i has on both doors which i really like you can keep little bits in at the moment we have some hand sanning and we have a big pocket at the bottom here so i just keep a purse full of cash i really recommend having a purse full of cash in your car just because for emergencies it means that if parking you have cash on hand we have in here we have some sunglasses because you never know when you might need them some hair ties some old receipts classic and what's this down here a lighter which was for work but it ran out so now it's just in here chilling um a lip balm without a cap on that and then a rape alarm because my dad bought it for me and in insisted that i needed one a really cute little compartment here i don't know if you can see with the light um which is really good for keeping other little bits in i have tried to get rid of the shit in my car so that's why it may seem not much inside it little bits to keep stuff you have this little area down here so you have two cup holders and then a little pouch little area so in here I just have some gum, it's my favourite one if you're wondering. I have an old one of these, well I don't, I think it's still got a little bit left in it. These are my favourite air fresheners because they go through the vents. I have a tub of Vaseline, I feel like having a tub of Vaseline in your car is just a must. And I just have some lip products, so I have a NYX matte lip cream, a lip gloss and a lip balm. I like to have lots of lip options because I always forget to put it on before I go to work. I have a Yankee Candle fluffy towels um, air freshener just because... I don't like to have it up here because I feel like it disrupts your view quite a lot. Come to join us, guys. He's never been in here before, but he's getting really frantic to shut inside, so 
Don't mind the windows are open, so he's just gonna sit and join us for this for this video, I guess. But he's very well modelling the passenger seat. What do you think, Ed? We also have an aux cord in here. I have a pink one, just because I'm extra like that. And I also have my little connector thing, because obviously my phone doesn't have an aux cord. And then we have the gear stick. I love how clear this is. Like, I love how it says the miles per hour really clearly. You've got the degrees inside my car, look how hot it is. Date, time, got petrol, water, speed, mileage everything and then obviously you've got all your little warning lights at the top i just love how clear it is as you can tell it's really easy to see how fast you're going in an area you know we have the steering wheel you obviously have the horn if you honk it in the middle all these buttons which i believe only come on the newer fiat's but it's honestly so worth getting volume up volume down this is my most used thing there is a volume up down button here but i never use it um we have a mute button a blue and me button which is like the microsoft version of siri I'm not the biggest fan of it so i don't really use it much but you can connect it to your phone and you can get it to call people i normally just prefer to use siri because i just think it's easier we have this to change the radio station and then some other little buttons and bits and bobs you've got your windscreen wipers your lights on this side the normal stuff and then all of this is controlled by this here then regarding the main control center so up here you have your media station and two vents so you've got the on off button you can connect it to your cord you can put a cd in there then we've got all the radio stations that you can tune in obviously it's not dab so you are limited on that front but i honestly don't listen to radio and then more controls and then here you've got city mode which basically so this is city mode on the steering wheel is very light and free and then that city mode off it's a lot more restricted have your hazard warning lights which i like how big and easy that is to press and then you have some more light controls there and we've got the temperature controls so as you can see i've got aircon on i like how it's not a dial and on some fiat's you have like a dial i can see the exact temperature that i'm setting it to obviously all of these controls which you should learn when you learn how to drive and then you have your gear stick and then you have your window controls here and here and then you have your handbrake just there moving over to the passenger side in my passenger door i normally leave this open for the passenger but i've got a jelly belly air freshener that i need to open and down in here we have some lens wipes because i wear glasses and i like to clean them and then just some spare air fresheners uh pool strips etc you have a like your glove shelf we have my fave air freshener which is the vanilla latte i normally like to save these for the winter just because in the summer i feel like you don't get the effect of them because it just goes straight out the window I have one of these which is like a thing you put into your cigarette thing i don't know what it's called these which i think something with a car who knows got a cd because i just like to have a cd because you never know when i might need music little black scrunchie oh my god i was wondering where that was but yeah i've got a scrunchie um mcdonald's barbecue sauce because if you know me you know that i literally am obsessed with this if i don't have it i'll be really upset some miscellaneous sweets in here for some reason which i'm not really too sure where they came from but I guess I've got sweets in there. And then I've also got a little hand cream. That is the passenger seat, isn't it, darling? And up here we've got window windows. What are these called? I don't know what they're called. This is me being a dumb bitch. You could move them, obviously. And you've got the light up there. Um, I don't have a mirror on my one, which I kind of hate. But I think you can get one to clip on, which I might do because I can't see myself. We have this mirror. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Little light up there. I have another little compartment in here. And I just have a rescue remedy in there because this is my favourite thing. If you're out just like me, it's a life changer. Now moving into the back seat of my car. So they're really nice, spacious seat, actually. I keep a bunch of miscellaneous stuff back here. So first we have my phone, my car tripod. If I can find a link to it, I'll link it down below. But this is what I use to film my drive with me is you just stick it on your window um, and it's really good. <laughs> It's all right, I'm still here. We have my umbrella, which is Kat Kidson, and then we also have a picnic blanket, which is a new addition, but we're picnicking at the moment. That's literally it for the back seat. There's nothing interesting in there. Okay, so then we have the boots. It's a bit of a mess back here, but we've just got a bunch of bags because save the environment. She says that she's got about a million bags here, but you know, we move. A scraper for when it's snowy. And we have a couple of bottles of de-icer. I know this isn't the best for the envir environment, but when you're finishing work at midnight, you can't be asked to sit and defrost it. You know, you want to go to bed. I sort of have bags. I'm not really sure why. They're both just there. I don't really know why. Don't even ask. Girls just have random shit in their car. It's literally it. This is what it looks like from the back. Quite a big spacious boot, actually. And then underneath, you've got the tyre. Like, if you were to lift all of this up, you've got a tyre in there as well, which is really good. You've got your petrol thing here. Which is really dirty, but it's a petrol thing. 
And yeah, that is the completed car tour. So I'm gonna do the questions part of this video now. Eddie, you were really causing me a lot of stress during that video. I'm really not happy with you. Firstly, about my actual car. It is a Fiat 500 2014 in white. I will get the exact information and put it on the screen now. We got it from Car Giant in London. They do really good secondhand cars. I think it had one previous owner before me. First one is from Iman and she said, did you buy your own car? No, I didn't. My parents got it for me as an 18 birthday christmas everything present which i am really grateful for i know a lot of people wouldn't have the opportunity to buy their children a car and i know that it's i'm i mean i'm really grateful for it giselle said best phone holder mount i recommend this one i'll put it on the screen now the one that i use i know you can get some that you have magnets for but i would hate to stick a magnet on my phone so and i think they're just a bit less reliable like if you have a thick case on is the magnet gonna stick so i like ones that you can just put your phone in because it means that you can put any phone in it if it was somebody else's phone it was pretty affordable as well i bought one for my mum and i would recommend it to anybody tips asked do you have any essentials that you keep in your car um obviously you saw what things i keep in my car essentials though i'd say hand sanitizer like i know at the moment hand sanitizer is obviously an essential for everybody but i would say it's even a bigger essential even in general just because you're touching petrol tanks like when you go out and you come back and you're touching your steering wheel i just think it's really good to sanitize every time you get in your car carrier bags just loads of carrier bags in your back seat because whenever you go out shopping you can just put one in your pocket and then you're helping the environment she says as she has a shit ton of bags in her boot i'm sorry i'm sorry and probably some sort of charge lead aux cord kind of thing other than that sunglasses cash as i said in general it's really useful to have cash in your car i think just for emergencies even if you have just a tenner somewhere hidden away i think it's really good jade asked did you always want to learn to drive yes i always did as soon as i turned 17 i started learning i always just wanted that freedom and i feel like you feel like so much like anyone who drives you'll know that moment when you can drive properly like without anybody in your car you're like wow i'm a fucking adult now like i can go and park up and go somewhere emma asked how long did it take for you to get your driving license a long fucking time for me it wasn't so much the actual learning it was i got very anxious around the actual test it is a very anxious thing for me not good in exam test situations anyway so when i'm going in a car with somebody who I've never met before to show that I'm a good driver when I know I'm a good driver in my head. Just like when I'm nervous, I just fuck up things. So I started learning when in June 2017 and I passed in February 2018. So I can't do math, so someone else work that. I'd go on summer holidays in between that, so I'd have weeks off at a time. But on average, maybe one to two lessons a week, depending. I mean, near the end, I wasn't really getting money lessons because I didn't need them. Jade asked, how many times did it take for you to pass your practical? Um, it took me three times. I know, I know. I kept that a secret from literally everybody I knew because I was so embarrassed, but it really isn't something to be embarrassed about. Like, I know there's this big stigma around passing first time, but like, literally, it's not that deep. Please don't be worried if you think, oh my God, I haven't passed first time. Like, so I had a really horrible driving like teacher assessor for the first two tests it was the same guy and i remember i got in the car for the second test being like here we go i'm gonna smash it it was that same guy and i was like are you fucking kidding me i was eating juicy fruits gum me and my mum have always had this thing with juicy fruits gum i don't know what it is about it but it just makes me feel sick and the smell of that stuff like the car stank of fucking juicy fruits gum and it was cold so i couldn't turn the windows oh third test i had the nicest guy ever just remember that in the grand scheme of things doing your test driving test a few times not that big of a deal keep going with it it's all the questions i'm gonna answer today i hope i answered all your questions about driving have any more please be sure to let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to respond to all of them thank you so much for checking out this video if you found me through a little car tour binge and you're looking for a fiat please join the family and please subscribe also be sure to give this a big thumbs up if you want more car content do you want some drive with me's in the future i love drive with me so i can definitely do some more of those to keep up with my daily life please do check out my instagram my name is just at live grace we just hit 5k over there so it's a big fat fucking party and there'll be a giveaway being announced soon so you definitely want to be over there for that but yeah other than that have the best day everybody be kind i love you all so much and i'll catch you all next time for a brand new video bye Mwah. Like in this American boy, American boy. My guy pretty like a girl. And he got vice towards the girl. See both sides like a girl. See on both sides like a girl.